Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from thebiblicalnutritionist.com and today we're going to talk cleaners, home cleaners. When I started my working career just out of high school, just you know, going to school, going to work, all of that, to being a mom, I worked in the emergency room and we would call this rash that children would come in with in the middle of the night, we would call it a bounce rash because the bounce dryer sheets had such a toxic effect and that the, the chemicals would get into those sheets and then it would get into the clothing and then children would sleep in these clothing or in the blankets or in their sheets that had been dried with the bounce dryer sheet and then they would have respiratory issues in the middle of the night. Well, that's frightening for a parent. Yet that's not the only problem with the cleaners in the grocery store aisles today. They can cause hormone disruptions because they are hormonal. They have ingredients in them that are a hormone mimicker. So we're gonna talk about this today and I'm gonna share with you some natural remedies, many that you already have on your shelf and another option that you can use just to make it fun and simple. So remember this, many health issues are caused not just by what we eat, but by what we clean our homes. All right, so let's dive into this. Yes, I've already shared with you, there are some many toxic effects that are happening to your body. So this could be your babies, it could be your pets, because those two, the babies and the pets, are such a smaller body size that the chemicals in the cleaners on their floor, in your clothing that you're washing them with or putting the dryer sheets actually are more harmful to the smaller you know, units, the babies and the pets, than they are to the adults. But it can have an accumulative effect in the adults. Sometimes we had this one story where these children were having difficulty just concentrating in school. So we had this one teacher go through with these natural cleaners and clean the desk. Before that, the janitor was using a Clorox. Well, it sounds like a smart idea because it kills all the germs. No, but it's toxic to the lungs. It's toxic to the brain. And so when they said, hey, for this room, the teacher is going to use her own cleaners, those kids starting being able to focus better. Math became simpler because they didn't have all of this craziness going on in their brain from the fumes and just the toxic effect of the Clorox. Yet yeah, Clorox is never in my home. We do have it in the in the garage in case we have an issue with the with the well and we have to use Clorox, but it's like the last resort. But we have it on hand for emergency purposes. So we need to understand this. Uh, cancer can be caused by environmental toxins, autoimmune, skin issues, itchiness. One lady said when she changed her cleaners to what I'm going to share with you today, her skin stopped itching. Who knew? And so we need to understand that what we put on our body is totally going to affect the inside of our body. All right, so let me share with you four things that you can use that you probably already have in your home. I talk about this in our updated uh, Proverbs 31 Prepper book. And these are all Prepper products. So you need to have these on hand anyway. <laughs> you probably already do. All right, the first one is hydrogen peroxide. So I keep this on hand all the time. Actually, I have a bottle in every bathroom and one in the kitchen. And just because if you have a cut, you can sanitize it with this. If you, in your bathroom, I keep some in a, in a jar, mason jar with a cap on it. And we dip our toothbrush in there before putting our toothbrush into the paste. And then we use that because it helps to keep your teeth white. And I don't know if my teeth look white today. Do you ever get self-conscious when you say things like that? Um, but it's supposed to do that. And then we also um, use another ingredient I'm gonna share with you also. So we keep this handy. If you ever get blood on your clothing, then this is gonna help get it out. It's just very good. It's safe to have around. Sometimes with an ear infection, we might put this in the ear to help clear it up, swimmer's ear, anything like that. So very effective and very economical. And you wanna have this definitely in your prepper supply, but also just everywhere in your home. The next is going to be, <laughs> The baking soda. Yeah, I don't get the little boxes anymore. I get the big bags and then I just take a little jar and put some in my pantry for baking with. But yes, yeah, so baking soda is a must. If you just have, you know, your muscles are really sore and tired, you could do a baking soda bath. So I keep big quantities for that. You could use this as part of your toothpaste. We use that as well. It helps to balance the pH in your mouth. It can be used for stubborn stains on your clothing. It can be used for stubborn stains on your sink, anywhere like that. It helps to balance pH and get rid of bad bacteria. So you can also use it to whiten and brighten your clothes in the washer. 
So this is definitely a must to have on hand and it should be in your prepper supplies. All right, that's two. The third one, another one that you already have is alcohol. We always wanna have alcohol on hand. If I have something very, a very deep cut, we're gonna to need to sanitize that before we treat it. So we're gonna need some alcohol and yes, it's gonna burn. So a lot of times I will opt for the hydrogen peroxide cause it doesn't burn, um, but we need alcohol on hand. You can sterilize anything with alcohol. So I remember when I was a teenager, my mom was going to pierce my ears for me because when I turned 13, I could have pierced earrings and I was just so excited, but yet I didn't trust my mom to do it. So I did it myself. And so I sterilized the needle with the alcohol. I was already into medicine at the age of 13. It totally infatuated me. And then I pierced my own ears and then I went down just to see if she would notice. And she's like, where did you go to have that done? <laughs> so I did it myself. Um, problem is they were lopsided so I had to do it twice. It's, don't recommend that. Now the fourth product and before I share with you another thing that I use is vinegar. <laughs> yes we buy it in the in the huge one gallon because we use it to get rid of the weeds in our yard and that way it's not toxic for Trixie to play in the yard after we have sprayed. So those are some products that you need to have on hand. Now that's fine. They will clean your home. They will do all of that. I just don't want my house to smell like vinegar. I just don't. It's not something I like. I'll use it in an emergency, but it's not what I'm going to use. And I don't want my clothes to smell like vinegar either. So I finally found a product that I've been using now for the last two years and it's called Branch Basics. Now, so Branch Basics is not going to use any of the 5,000 toxic chemicals that are in your cleaners in the store. So if you're buying 409, Clorox, um, Pine Sol, Windex, all of those. Yeah, toss them. And don't even tell me, do not tell me, well, Annette, I'll toss it when it's empty. No, they're toxic. They can cause changes to your brain, changes to your hormones, changes to every system in your body just by inhaling it. Very, very toxic. And don't have those products in your kit. Don't clean your bathroom and then let them go in and play on the floor. No, no, don't do that. So we need something safe. We need something that's going to we can clean our home and not worry about the pets walking in on it because they'll lick their paws or the baby crawling on it or any of that. So here's the thing. Now, I had to look up what is the price comparison. So this is called a concentrate. So you would use this bottle to then make your laundry. Your laundry, so this is like an empty bottle. So you take this and you fill it up to, um, so you'd add water and then you add the detergent, this, this the branch basics and your laundry is going to cost you 27 cents per load to do all right now this is where it really floats your boat you only need one little capful look how size of that capful that's all you need to do your laundry all right so that's exciting but there's more so from that bottle let me see if I can get my supplies back here and my little stash you then can make your Windex bottle. So your Windex replacement, and let's see, I figured out the price on this too. So this is going to cost you 25 cents to replace your Windex bottle. I know, doesn't it? It's just exciting. That's like cheaper than the, the, than the um, vinegar. And I'm not a person who uses essential oils in my home for a fragrance. I like my clean to just be clean. I don't want it masked with other other fragrances, but you could, you could use an essential oil in here or you know whatever you use to clean with. Then we have the all-purpose cleaner. So that is going to cost you $3.25. So still a better price than what you're getting at the store for the other products like 409. They have another bottle, bottle similar to this for your deep cleaner. And that one is to replace oh, your bathroom cleaner. So your bathroom cleaner is gonna cost $6 using Branch Basics. So it's a little more than you're gonna pay for the other bathroom sprays, but it's not toxic. And your health is worth the little extra to pay for the bathroom cleaner because you're going to save it on your laundry and your 25 cents Windex bottle. So you get the whole kit and then you get all of these bottles and then you just replace this. You know, when you run out of this, just, you know, get a new bottle. I also use it in my hand pumps in the bathrooms and at the, at the um, utility room. And then they have some oxygen boost. Yes, that's what it's called, <laughs> oxygen boost. 
And so I sprinkle a little bit of this into my laundry just to freshen it up. And so I just take a little bit of this, where's the camera, and sprinkle it into my laundry. I'll use it to clean the toilets. I'll sprinkle it in the toilet, let it sit for a little bit, and then scrub it with the bathroom cleaner. And that works really well. And they also lastly have the tablets to put into your dishwasher. So I had to use up what I was using before and it was already a natural product, but these are doing an excellent job. I do not like my dishwasher to not be able to do its job. I don't wanna to have to wash the dishes, put them in, let run the cycle and then take them out and have to wash them again because it didn't do the cycle. So these really work. Yes, I know I'm sounding like a commercial, but I'm just sharing with you what I personally use. And if you want to use it, just go ahead and use the link down below. They are giving us a biblical nutritionist discount. So you definitely want to grab that. And here you go. Clean your home, but yet have fun cleaning. Your, your kids at any age can help you clean because these are going to be non-toxic and they're not going to interfere with their brain cells. And we have to protect our kids' brain cells. Okay, yeah, we have to protect ours too. So this is what I wanted to share with you. If you want to learn more about toxins in the environment, I have a chapter of it in the Healthy Treasures, in the Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study, and I even wrote about it more in depth in the Nutrition Manual. So I'll put links to those videos, to those books down below, and I really want you to study this. I want you to study it and just do your own research, and maybe the vinegar is good for you. Maybe that's enough to clean your home with the baking soda, and good for you, and it'll save you some money. But if you're like me and you want a little bit more convenience, then yeah, I go for the the branch basics because the price was easy to do. So I just had to make an investment to get the bottles. And then after that, I just have to replace it with one thing. So to me, that works because I'm busy and because you matter to me. Thanks for letting me share this with you. Have a great day.